How do you make a customizable dissolve material in UEFN? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a fully editable dissolve effect where you can control everything in real time. Want to make an object slowly fade away or disappear in style? Then check out this Unreal Engine for Fortnite secret. To create this material, the first thing you need to do is open the content drawer. Then create a folder, name it however you like, and inside that folder, create a material and name it too. Now open the material. The next step is to configure the main material node. Just set it to masked and enable two-sided. Now add a texture sample node and in the texture section, search for noise or use a default UEFN pattern. Then add a switch parameter, name it whatever you want, I'll call mine Ponner, and connect it to the texture sample node. Next, add a Panner node and connect it to True in the switch parameter, then duplicate it and connect it to False. For the top Panner, add an Append vector, and for that, add two scalar parameters. These will control the speed and direction of the texture movement. On the side panel, you can set a default value, a minimum value, and a maximum value for the speed control. At this point, we've created a material with a condition. If it's true, the texture moves, and if it's false, the texture stays still. Here's a quick demo. Now, in front of the texture sample, add a subtract node, two saturate nodes, and just connect them as I'm showing. This part, where you add a constant three vector, is for the dissolve effect borders. This is where you choose a color. Convert it to a parameter, name it, and now you can easily change the color. Use a multiply node to connect the color to saturate, then link the multiply node to emissive color. Now add an add node and change the const B value. Then continue connecting everything. Create two more multiply nodes. These will control the distortion of the object's mesh if you want that effect. Remember, you can always set default, minimum, and maximum values in the slider settings. Also, convert the noise texture into a parameter so you can change it later if needed. Let's create a group for better organization. I'll call mine Texture. I'll also create a group for the Panner nodes. To see how our material is looking so far, go back to the content drawer and create a material instance. Before opening it, create a cube. We'll use it as a test object. Just drag the material instance onto the cube and then open it. For better visibility, it's best to use a floating window. When you enable the panner, new options will appear. This is awesome because it gives you full control over different details. Now let's go back to the material. Add a bounding box based node. If you can't find it, follow this path here and drag it into the material. Then create a mask, convert it to a parameter, and now you can change the dissolve effect direction whenever you want. Create a group for these parameters too. I'll call mine location. Also add a switch parameter to invert the effect. To define whether the effect comes from the center or not, create another switch parameter. If false, the effect will go from bottom to top, for example. The material is almost done. Just one last step. Create a switch parameter called Sign and give it its own group. Add the remaining nodes and don't forget to organize them into groups for better clarity.
I set the default effect color to pink, but you can pick any color you like. Oh, one last thing. Don't forget to connect floor to opacity mask. Now save everything and go back to the material instance. You can now tweak all the parameters you created, and one of the coolest things is that changing the noise texture will completely change the effect. Now I'm just messing around with some materials for fun. You can try it out too. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Lastly, if you want, you can add a parameter for the base color too, making it easier to change. And now, you don't have to create this material from scratch every time. You can just drag the material file into a new UEFN project and the effect will be ready to use. Your like is really appreciated. It motivates me to keep posting.